Good morning. Today is probably the clearest morning we've had in the last month. I don't remember a morning this clear. It's so clear we can see Mount Hermon. We haven't been able to see that here with so much cloud and haze for a long time, right up there. And just give it another couple of minutes and the sun will be gleaming on the snow. Although it's already there, you can see a little of the sun on the snow. And then obviously much nearer to us here, just across the border in Syria, we have, maybe we can even see the windmills. It's so clear. The windmills are here in Israel, but the fence between Israel and the border is just a little east of there before that hill that's protruding. I don't know the exact distances kilometer wise. The lake is incredibly still. And then we can look down here to Jordan. And we see Jordan here at the end of the lake. We have a very brave group of pilgrims this morning, or a very interested group, a passionate group from Mexico, and they're doing adoration. And there goes our volunteer, Rocio, with her guitar. She's a great animator. And we're ahead of the sun this morning. So lots of lovely variables. And then moon is still here. Let me show you the moon. right here on top of Mount Arbel. It's the end of the full moon period. What's interesting about that is that we have one more full moon until, until uh, Easter, until the Passover feast. It's always on the full moon. And the reflection is going to be so beautiful on the window this morning, the window of Duke and Altum. So there you have the moon and the sun is already reflecting here. Oh, you're good, you're good. You can be on the, you can, this is sunrise stroll and chat every morning from the Sea of Galilee since COVID started. So you can be part of it. Where are you from? Australia. 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 Yeah, we had a group here that had a lot of Australians. There was a, a, a theologian, a pastor, an Anglican priest, actually. Who is, there's the sun. The sun is just coming through here, people. It's rising. I don't want to block you. <laughs> it's okay. We got some paparazzis with us here today. Also got some friends back who are doing their documentary and they come every few months. is right behind the palm tree. It's a nice spot for it here. Look. I want to catch the, the sun here on the window. There's something about reflections that uh, 
really are amazing reflections i think they go deeper down into the into the nature of things into the ultimate nature of things in our faith we we understand that god created the world and every artist and every creator is speaking from their own heart from their own their own um, experience and their own person goes into their work so god's goodness is evident in creation his truth His beauty, he is one. There's a great unity in all of creation, in the atoms from the planet Earth to the furthest, remotest star. There's a great consistency in creation. And all of this reflects, and we see here now the sun reflecting on the water and reflecting on the mirror behind us. Maybe what I can do here is I can do a selfie moment to catch the window as well. There we have it. So you can see both. <laughs> and that way nature speaks to our heart so much because it reflects so much of our own being our own oneness with nature and yet we transcend it and also it's why in nature we really need people because there's a communion and a dialogue going on a dialogue of love not sure if I can get the snow on Mount Hermon there Yeah, you can see the light on Mount Hermon now that's sharper or clearer. Oh, there we got some beautiful birds coming over the sun. And then we reflect on things. We use that word reflect. Reflections are, are deep into the nature of things.
another pie pillar down here having their little reflection another couple it's really amazing to read the readings today from the prophet micah centuries before jesus and to see the reflection of one and the other a god of clemency the god of mercy a god of patience and as a backdrop for the prodigal son an extraordinary fountain of love and that paternity that follows his son through the miseries of his life and doesn't focus on the miseries but focuses on on that extraordinary reality the image and likeness of God in each person and the willingness to take back his son and to celebrate that he's back even though he squandered half his property Psalm 103 the Lord is kind and merciful the Lord is kind and merciful In a way, we don't need to comment that more, but you can see how the prophet Micah is reflected in that. I just wonder when Jesus was a little boy and he was reading those texts when he was a teenager. There were lots of cruelties in the times like there are today. You can imagine parents reading the prophet Micah to their children to console them, to show them that the cruelty of this world is not the ultimate word. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency? To delight in clemency, isn't that an extraordinary expression? It's really an extraordinary expression, to delight in clemency. To delight in clemency. How our world needs this. And he will again have compassion on us. Who will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins who will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. You know, the prophets are amazing. And the way the Bible is really a distillation of the prophets. What a unique phenomenon in the history of mankind. And then the way it unfolded in the life of Jesus, not just with the story of the prodigal son, but on Calvary, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they're doing. What an extraordinary level of, of um, forgiveness, of patience, of kindness. Such light for a world that's so broken, so hurting. How much we need that today. I think we leave that like that for today, people. It's a wonderful experience, and I, I'm not sure you can't hear my little microphone, but we have the we can hear the singing of the Mexicans over there as they praise God, the rising sun.
So let's leave it like that today, people. God bless you. See you later, alligators. Be blessed today. Maybe today we can say, who can we, to whom can we show clemency today? The Lord's anger doesn't last forever. He delights in clemency. <laughs>